In this video, we're going to have a look at working with dates, and we're going to be using Metabox. So to show you how this works, we have an in the future, in the present, and in the past post. And we're going to change the dates of the in the future one to move it from in the future to the present, and then into the past. So here we have my post that's in the future. So to move it into the present, I need to make sure that the start date is before today and the end date is after today. So I know that the end date is after today. I'm going to move the start date to before today. And with that done, and we'll head over. And now you'll see that in the future is now part of the present um, section. And now I'm going to move in the future here to in the past. And to move it into the past, I need to make sure that the end date is in the past. So here we are in the future. So all I'm going to do now is change the end date to a date in the past. And then I'm going to refresh. And now you'll see that the in the future post is now in the past. Right. So I'm going to move the in the future now back to the future. So to do that, I need to make sure that the start date is in the future. So the start date is in the future. And then I'm going to move the end date to a date after that date. Right. Update. And now you'll see that the in the future is in the future. So that's how we can make sure that the um, posts in the future are in the future, the present in the present and the past in the past. So how does all this work with Metabox? Well, the first port of call with Metabox is to go to the documentation. And in the documentation under date, you'll see that they explain to you that um, in the data section. So if we have a look here at the data section, we get the date um, format. And you'll see that this is a JavaScript function. And they just explain the default format that the date is collected in. What's more important, though, is when we look at the template usage, is you will see that in order to convert the date to a normal date, they have a bit of code here that it, that shows you, demonstrates how to do that. So what they also mention here is converting timestamp to another format. So one way of collecting the date in Metabox is to convert the date to a timestamp and then to use the timestamp. So what we did in this particular video is we converted the today's date into a timestamp because I already know that the value being returned by Metabox is a timestamp. So I don't have to do anything with that value. It's already a timestamp. So to then show you the Metabox fields that we used, I'm going to head over here. And you'll see here that I have two dates. I have a start date. and I have an end date and the format of both is the same. So if we look at the start date, you'll see that it's a date picker. And very importantly, we selected same value as timestamp. And that will allow us then to compare the uh, value for today against the start date or the end date. And that's it. Once you've created those fields, it's a case of updating and um, to set them to display on post so this will just this is just appearing on a normal post so if i go into that post you'll see that on the post i have a start date and an end date and that's what i'm targeting when i check for future and past dates if we go then and have a look at converting today's date into a timestamp so you'll see that um, in the function here we have the current date is equal to date and this is the standard format for a date in php and then what we do is we look at converting that date to a timestamp. And to do that, we use the string to time. So str to time. And then we apply that to the current date. Once that's um, been applied, we then just return the timestamp. So now we have today's date as a timestamp. And I also have my custom field as a timestamp. Right, so now I have two timestamp values, which are two numbers. So now when I do my query, I'm basically querying two numbers. So let's have a look at the various queries. So the first one we're going to have a look at then is the query for the future. 
So that would be this query. So we'll head over to query and let's apply the parameters. And so um, this is now only applying to posts in the future. Uh, you don't need to pay attention to that. Um, not sure why it's saying no code found, but um, right. Here is the, um, so here we are. Right, so um, you'll see that we um, select that we are targeting the post as the post type. And the reason for that is because we're on the home page. In the meta query that we then generate, we create the relation and, and then we look at an array. And in the array, we select the key, the value, and compare. So that's done just by clicking that add value, and you'll see you have a choice of four options. In this case, um, because it's a number, um, there wasn't any need to type in, you know, what kind of comparison. But if you want to, you can um, use meta value num. Right, so the first thing that we're going to do then is we look at the key and we select the start date. Don't go to data and then go to meta box field and then select start date and then go insert. That's not going to work. That's going to just insert um, the value that you would want to use to output on the front end of the website. Because we're working here, we must have the key and the key is the ID of the field. So start date. So if we go and have a look here at our MetaBox field, you'll see that there's the ID start date. So that ID is the key that we use. So that key is actually the ID for MetaBox. Then we look at the value. So this value is then the value is today's date converted to a number. So to do that, you would head in here, go to PHP function return value options and then we just copy the name of the function and we paste that in under function name no opening and closing braces just like that and insert and then the compare is greater than so we want the start date to be greater than today's date once we've done that the function is ready to run or the query is ready to run and then when we head over to the website you'll see that the in the future is in the future. The next one that we looked at was a little bit different because here we had to capture two um, dates. We had to look at, uh, compare the first, the, the start date and the end date against today's date. So that just added another dimension to the query. So when we look at the query, everything works the same way. Um, but what we do now is we have two queries. So the first query looks at the start date as the key and the second query the end date when it comes to add value once again we're adding the value which is the the function converting today's date into a um, timestamp and then we have the less than so we say if the start date is less than today's date and if the end date is greater than today today's date so if the end date is in the future and today's date is in the past i mean the start date is in the past and the end date is in the future then this is a present date so i'm going to close that and then i'm going to show you the final one which is the posts that are in the past so what we do here is pretty standard we create the meta well we always start with the post type as post then we look at the meta query and we look at the relation as and and then we add the array and you'll see you've only got two options there and then what we do is we say if the end date and the value of course then is the value um, from the function that converts today's date into a timestamp so if the end date is less than or in the past so less than today's date then it's in the past if it's greater than today's date it's in the future so the past is less than and the future is greater than and that's it once you have that in place then as you change the dates on your posts then you can change where they appear in the query so if i wanted to take the 
uh, post in the past and the dates change uh, to make it into the present all i need to do in this case now is move the end date into the future so if i go to my post all my posts and i go to the post in the past and i now change the end date to a date in the future so i'm going to change that to um, something in the future and i update you'll see now that this particular in the past will now move to being grouped with in the present and if i wanted to move that in the past then into the future i would need to change the start date to a date ahead of today so i'm going to change that start date then to a date ahead of today and now the event that was in the past has been in the present and is now in the future so if the as the dates change um, there's nothing that you would need to do um, to your post because as today's date changed then the post would automatically move from being in the future to being in the present to being in the past so that would happen automatically let me just change the in the past then back to the past so to do that i'm going to just change that date and i'm also going to change that date so now the post is in the past and right so that's then how you can use metabox values to manage posts that are in the future the present and in the past i hope you found that useful thank you for watching